the next review, as I have promised, is I have been waiting a very long time for this and I finally went out and bought myself a PS3. But not just a normal PS3, no, 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 no. I went and bought myself a PS3 Slim, which I have very neatly pl yeah, plonked here. This is my little my baby at the moment. And I am loving it. I've been playing it quite a lot, actually. So, at the moment, I'm going to take on a quick tour, because I can't be bothered to go and get these in the first place. I've only got a handful of games at the moment, but I have got... As I put you down for a minute. Right. God of War 3, which I've now completed. Tomb Raider, I completed on Saturday. Really, really liked it. Vanquish, equally as good game. Completed that second. And I'm currently on to this. Now, I am not really liking uh, Castlevania at the moment. I'm not feeling the love for it. Um, because most of the games that I, that I play, I tend to, you know, you get that urge that you really want to continue playing it. But I'm not getting it from um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Which is a bit of a shame, actually, because... I um I've actually got the uh what was it Portrait of Ruin and Order of Ecclesia for my DS and I really like those ones. But this one I'm not feeling it, but to be fair, I have I have only got to um the level after the first boss, which is that giant ice titan. So yeah, I might be missing a bit of it. I'm not sure at the moment. Um I'm not gonna buy the second one. I was going to, but I have bought the patch. For the fight against the forgotten one. So with any luck. Um, I mean I know what happens. I know he becomes Dracula. In the end of it. But yeah, I really want it to be a good one. But I'm just not feeling it. Um, Vanquish. If you get a chance to buy it and play it. It's brilliant. It is so difficult. It's effectively you run around in the thing called the ARS suit. Which is augmented reaction suit. And the basic premise for it is. Having the firepower and speed of a tank, but on a suit. So, and then you have a thing called the blade system, which is effectively imagine um, the actual um, hand, uh, what you call the grip for a handgun, but then everything else around it changes. So, like for instance, you start off with a um, an assault rifle. A shotgun and something else which I forget. And obviously you have like hand grenades and such. Um, and then when you encounter other weapons, the blade system records it so that you can then auto once you come near it and you recharge that particular weapon. So for instance, you get a rocket launcher, a sniper rifle, um, a disc thrower, um, a heavy duty machine gun, um, the assault rifle, the shotgun. Uh, there's something else, but I can't remember what it is. Um, oh, uh, a point-to-point point point laser type weapon. And the blade system records it. So you can you don't have to worry about picking up another gun. It's already recorded, so you're just picking up the ammo for it, and then you can swap it if need be. That game, and then obviously um, you have to go around with um, these Marines on a space station. And the guy you play is a guy called Sam Gideon, who basically just smokes all the time. He's got this like really deep, sort of raspy, cool, raspy voice. Not like, not like Batman. No, I'm not going to do the impression. I have been told that it sucks, but I'm not going to do it. Or am I? No, I'm not. Um, that one's actually very good. Uh, that I would thoroughly recommend. Tomb Raider, A Survivor is Born. I, like I said, I recently, as of Saturday, completed. No, to tell light, like, Sunday morning. My only irritating... <clears throat> the only irritating part I had was I got about halfway through the game and then it crashed. So I had to restart from scratch. And luckily I knew where I was going and what I had to do for that first half. But the second half was equally as difficult. But, um, no, I really enjoyed that. I really liked the Tomb Raider games. I haven't played all of them. I've played 1, 2, 3, Revelations. Um, actually, I'll tell you that. The only ones I haven't played are the one with um, the... Uh, 
God, the Indian bloke, um, where it's kind of more um, a command and conquer sort of layout, sort of that one. Um, I haven't played that one. Oh, uh, some, it's like the Temple of Light or something. I haven't played that one, but I have played all the other ones, and I really like them. So, you know, and then another one is going to be coming out, I have heard, next year. So, and yes, yeah, so I should point out, I am dressed. I'm just very hot. Um, so there's a new one coming out. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it's going to go a couple of years later. So she's kind of before Tomb Raider 1, but after this, obviously. And the final one is God of War 3. I've got it because I like God of War. I've played, I've got Chains of Olympus and, well, basically the two for the PSP and God of War 3. I'm not going to bother with number two or um, number one because I've seen them enough. And I'm considering getting Ascension, but I'm going to wait on that one when it gets a bit cheaper. And I really want to buy a copy of Deadpool, but I've got to wait again for that to get a bit cheaper so I can actually, you know, buy it. Um, yeah, and then recently, as well, Saturday night, um, I got given um, all of the uh, Series 1 of the 100, as well as Plebs, the series, which is six episodes, which I've watched and wasn't really sure about that one. But uh, 100, we're going to watch, me and my wife are going to start watching. We've also got uh, the Lego movie, which we have been religiously playing this tune, Everything is Awesome, because let's be honest, everything is awesome. Uh, I've been playing it all day. Um, what else? We've got uh, Need for Speed, uh, Fast 6, basically just all manner of cool bits to get through. So our next week or two is basically going to be us watching my PS3. I'm so glad. And it's the 500 gig super slim one. And like I said, I've decked it out. So I've got um, a better HD cable for it. I've got a stand to keep it up right better because the one it didn't have one, so it just kept rock going like this every time I started it. Basically, I'm so glad, and I've got that and the two games. I originally got Battlefield Three and this darts game included, but I didn't want them until I I played them until I got my um my four games through the post, and I got the whole thing for a hundred quid. So if you want to get a PS3, go and get one. If you want to get a PS4, wait until they come out with the Slim because that gets rid of all the bugs from it. But that should sort everything out. So, I'm going to go on to my last one for the day. And uh, we'll see you in a while. Back in a bit.